I think it's a sign to spawn, you know. You got some damn oil you sold your bait off. Oh, that's alright, we're gonna move spots here in a second. You got great I'm gonna go ahead and move him this way. Just drag him along. Yeah, yeah I got you right. Yeah, he's all pulled up on that side. Man, look at that. All right, guys, I want to show you something real quick. You can tell by his fins right here and all the marks that he's, or that these fish are about to go in the spawn. And look at this right here. Definitely a sign that this fish is going on the spawn. So what that means is that they're about to mate. And they'll usually go underneath rocks, uh, down trees, logs, whatever they can find to uh, lay eggs and so forth. So this fish is probably about 10 pounds or so. Nice fish. Just going to go ahead and release him. There he goes. All right, guys, we're going to move spots. We're going to work our way towards downtown, fish some open water. So stay tuned. All right, guys, we're fishing a new spot was marking a lot of humps uh, in this particular stretch of the river. And, uh, let's see if we can get a good fish here. It's about 25, 30 feet. Shakes or anything. Feisty. Feisty booger. He is. That is 
has a very dark brown channel cat. Look at that, fellas. Wow. It's releasing. If you guys don't know, we got Billy here. Wave to the camera, Billy. Billy decided to tag along uh, kind of last minute, I guess. I texted him earlier in the day and he said he wanted to join, so. Anyway, guys, new spot definitely paid off. So we're gonna try to give this spot maybe a few more minutes and then just kind of move a little bit further downstream and then move back up and hit our typical night spots. All right, guys, this is a new spot. We're just being random right now, trying different things. We were marking a lot of big fish down here, weren't we, Billy? Yes, sir. We're not gonna sling them out too far. So this is kind of like a deeper yeah, hole in here, so we're gonna see what we can get. So stay tuned. Get him, Joe. He's get on. him. He's on. Oh yeah. Oh. It's a small one. Shaking them down. You always say they're small, Joe. This one's pretty small, trust me. Another fish on, fellas? Would have been two out of here if you hadn't let that other get away. Looks like we're about to... Looks like he's tanging in the other line. Really? I don't think he's that far back there. Well, maybe he is tangled. All right, guys, here's the fish. She's probably pushing seven, eight pounds, something like that. New fish and a new spot. Let's go ahead and release them. Here it goes. We're gonna go down to another spot. We're gonna move our way back towards upstream here and fish uh, a big, kind of flat I guess it's right near the bank so all right guys we're at one of our last spots this is pretty shallow we're only anchored in like 15 feet of water but it goes down to 20 feet and then a little further back goes to 30 feet so we're gonna give this a try and see what we can get so far three fish not bad uh, just fishing a lot of brand new areas and spots further downstream on the river uh, so this is Moccasin Bend. You can see Lookout Mountain uh, right here. Pretty historic mountain during the American Civil War. And uh, so let's give this a try. All right, guys, we're going to call it quits for today. Uh, just three fish, 
but definitely well worth scouting some new waters. Uh, this is usually the time of the year where the catfish will go on the spawn. That's why with the first fish you saw, it had a lot of marks and um, red open sores and wounds on them. That's usually a sign that they're pretty much about to go on the spawn. And typically the month of June is a slow month for quality. I mean, you can still catch several fish between one to 30 pounds, but the monster is really, uh, you won't see till like July and that's the post spawn. But anyway, guys, give a thumbs up for this video and we'll see you in the next episode.